Mercy and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot to some, Dr. Elliot to others. And I wanted to take a moment of time to give a word of revelation, foundation, clarity uh, regarding a term that's used in the Bible that we may not even pay much attention to. But uh, based upon the Lord God, I just wanted to give you a little bit more background. The term that I'm referring to is Galilee. What is the meaning or the depth behind the term Galilee that's used in the Bible, especially as we see in scripture, it references the Sea of Galilee. And let me give you an example. In Matthew chapter four, verse 18, the scripture says, and Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting nets into the sea for they were fishers. Now, in that, I know many may be uh, viewing this and saying, well, uh, that's just the name of a territorial uh, a lake or sea. But what's very interesting is when you get into the term Galilee, it comes from the Greek word Galilea, which means circuit. Now, when you take it back a little bit further than that to its Hebraic meaning, uh, it comes from the Hebrew word Galil or Galiala, Galiala. And both terminologies is in reference to a circuit or a district or a circle. And what was mainly the concept or the interpretation of the Hebrews in that time is that it was a heathen circle. And understand the word heathen means the godless or those who are not Jews or those who have no relationship or covenant with the Lord God as their God. So, so in that, basically, what it implies is a territory or a location that is a doorway or a gateway for businesses and for other uh, operations to come through uh, collectively or in a circular uh, sense. Uh, and in that, what else you find is Galil is also the Hebrew terminology that, that also means turning door. And in that, for those who are like listening to this, imagine like when you go to some banks or so forth, they have a revolving door that you may enter in uh, through one gapway of the door, but you may uh, exit at another point. Uh, so in that, this is what is metaphorically meant by Galilee or the territory of Galilee or the, the, the sea area of Galilee. Many different ports and many different avenues of businesses that had nothing to do with the Lord God were ways that people came in and they may have left based on other gateways or i.e. opportunities that they were magnetized to based on going to Galilee. So, so in that, now we can understand even in the concept and, and probably get a revelation as to why Jesus was always there at Galilee, because people were going there for one reason, but they may have left for another, uh, especially based upon an encounter with him in the Galilean territory. Now, if anybody wanted to be a detailist about the historical location, um, I can give you this. It is a region of northern Palestine, and it's bounded on the northern side by Syria and on the western side by Sidon and Tyra um, and bundled on the south by Samaria and east by the Jordan. So these were the territories that were known that surrounded Galilee, but were also the doorways into Galilee, both the territory as well as the sea for business or for uh, whatever other reason that people came through that area to do what they were going to do or had whatever purposes that they were looking for opportunities to do. Because even by the scripture, when we talk about uh, doors, especially in the book of Revelation, doors uh, translates out to mean opportunities. So entrances and gateways or avenues were looked at uh, other opportunities to, to be opened up or have access to. 
So with that being said, I pray this has been a profound word of revelation of teaching regarding Galilee, that hopefully it will bless you, especially as you continue on your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, 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 and blessings be unto you.